More Americans are suffering from depression now than ever before, according to a Gallup study conducted last year. That study also found that minorities experience depression at twice the rate of white adults. As part of the KRQE original series, New Mexico Frontiers, Chad Brummett spoke with one local company whose mission it is to find solutions to this growing health crisis through genomic technology. Depression is on the rise here in the United States. Since COVID, the number of Americans suffering from acute and prolonged depression has increased from 21.6% in 2019 to nearly 30% in 2023. The, the challenge with depression, even though the pandemic is over, the COVID pandemic, uh, we're still really facing a pandemic of mental health issues. While there are a variety of factors that can cause depression, the most common treatment for the condition is a set of medications known as SSRIs, which stands for Selective Serotonin Reuptake Inhibitors. However, patients know them better as Citalopram, Prozac, Paxil, and Zoloft, just to name a few. A typical diagnosis for depression goes something like this. You go to your doctor and you talk through your symptoms. They come to a diagnosis of depression. Then they will prescribe the patient an antidepressant. Then you wait. And wait. And wait. You're waiting to see if that particular medication is actually working. And according to Circular Genomics CEO Paul Sargent, that process can take anywhere from a few weeks or it can even take up to a year. There's been so much stigma surrounding depression and I think that's now lifting. Uh, we need better approaches, better um, uh, uh, diagnostic tools and better prognostic tools. Which is the mission here at Circular Genomics. Founded in 2021 by UNM alum Dr. Nicholas Malius, the company has isolated a particular molecule known as circular RNA. It's highly expressed in brain tissue. It crosses the blood-brain barrier and is, is found in the blood. So we can understand what's happening inside the brain from the blood. Because circ RNA can be found in the blood, Circular Genomics has been developing a test that will greatly reduce the wait time to see if the prescribed antidepressant is working in the patient. So we can direct that therapy in a week as opposed to up to 12 months. The company will be conducting a laboratory developed test in September called the Mind Light Antidepressant Response Test. Now, if that test is successful, that means they can get their product on the market sooner and potentially help millions of Americans suffering from the mental illness. Um, I have personally lost a couple of friends to depression, uh, and that's really the, uh, the motivation to, to uh, join the company uh, and help the company get this test uh, to market. What we really hope to do, the overarching theme for the company, is that we want to bring much more precision medicine to the area of mental health and neurology. So, so the right drug to the right patient at the right time. Chad Brummett, KRQE News 13. Sargent says that if their trials go well this fall, they hope to begin rolling it out to market sometime in 2025.